And so, you know, I know a lot of people who have been classically trained in Six Sigma understand that uh, any process can be can be modeled with a transfer function function. But let's say that a person watching this show right now, Lee, doesn't know what a transfer function is. Can you explain that? And what's the main takeaway from why developing transfer functions are necessary? Well, I'm guessing in Lean Six Sigma is not allowed. You have to be able to use data to predict an outcome, and the predict the outcome must be done. For prediction of the outcome must be able to be done in, in a reliable, predictable, uh, accurate kind of a way. And the best way to do that is by um, doing experimental design or design of experiments, which features a transfer function. And a transfer function is is um, formulated when you take data and you form the data in such a way as you then take the data and and find out what the output of that process will be. So you might have two different kinds of data combined in a process that produces a single output or maybe two outputs and you measure those outputs and you do the test where using certain rules you vary the inputs, measure the corresponding changes of the outputs and from that you develop a transfer function. It's like going back to geometry back when we were young and developing y equals mx plus b that for a different slope of m and a different y-intercept of b for various x's you'll reliably and accurately and repeatedly get a, a certain y and, and that represents that y equals mx plus b represents in its uh, simplest of, of sense a transfer function. So the key takeaway is uh, it's important to um, uh, gather data and not guess and use that data to predict an outcome, preferably if you really are fortunate enough, preferably critical to quality or as, as oftentimes people say critical to quality or critical to customer, CTCs or T CTQs, transfer functions. So we oftentimes um, assess the, the merit the maturity of an organization's process excellence efforts and, and how many customer touch processes there are transfer functions associated with mm -hmm. and how many uh, uh, customer touch processes there are no transfer functions that you cannot predict the outcome on. So we hope that those numbers increase over time. 